The precautions we've taken at TPS is everything we could possibly get our hands on. For example, the first thing we did was look into the HEPA filters because we are in a public building and we wanted to make sure the air quality was good for our kids. So we have a HEPA filter in every single classroom and in the offices in some open areas. Then we contacted a company and we put up plexiglass dividers. You could see one behind me right now. We have them for all student desks and all teacher desks as well. Then on top of that, we assigned a stairwells, up and down stairwells for kids to go in one direction. We put arrows down so kids can move in one direction again around the school. We only have exit only doors and entrance only doors as well. So I think we've done everything we could possibly do to make sure our students and our teachers are safe. Everybody has to wear a mask. We've even um, created some of our own masks with our little TPS logo on it, but everybody has to wear a mask throughout the day in school. We do have lunchtime where the kids are sitting in their own separated cubbies with the plastic or the acrylic around them and they could take off their mask and eat and be safe, but then the mask goes right back on. So we've had a very successful start to our school year. The kids have been so cooperative, the parents have been wonderful, and our teachers are fantastic troopers. They all came back to work and they were all excited to get back into the classroom with the kids. Everybody feels safe because of the masks and because of the acrylic and because of the HEPA filters. It's been a little subdued. Everybody's in their class. Everybody's in their own cohort to be safe. All the breaks are supervised again to keep the kids safe. So it's quite quiet actually, but um, it's full of hope and kids are doing well. So we went ahead and ordered uh, these wonderful microphones the teachers are able to wear in class and we use Zoom so the kids from home can participate while class is on. They could ask questions, they could see some of their friends in the classroom, they can uh, do group work with kids in the classroom, they can answer questions, um, and they are able to follow the lesson quite easily. So we have protocols in place again for the safety of everyone. So we did have last week, somebody, a teacher's child was ill, and so the child couldn't go back to daycare. So we asked the teacher to get a COVID test along with their child before returning to school. And thank goodness everything was negative and the teacher came back to school. So if a teacher gets up, is not feeling well, she or he will get a COVID test before they can come back to school. So we've only had one situation where a little girl had a headache and we did isolate her in our special isolation rooms. We called her mom, she was picked up and she went home. Thank goodness it was just a headache. So we're, we're using everything virtual that we can possibly get our hands on. So this week we've started our clubs. So we're having clubs at lunch, we're having clubs after school, and clubs such as NFL Fantasy, Linguistics Club, Mindfulness Club, Math Club, Art Club, Drama Club, um, Human Rights Club, um, any kind of club the kids are interested in and want to be involved with, so the kids sign up, and through Zoom, we make these clubs happen. We're also continuing with student council, so the student council is going to be busy trying to come up with other great ideas where we can keep the kids safe but also engaged. This year, we've had to change our program to a quadmester semester. So our first quadmester is running from September to mid-November, where our students are taking two classes a day, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Our second quadmester starts mid-November and will go until January. Now, because of this, we are able to accept students who are looking for a school in November. They would be able to apply to our school and go through the proper channels in order to gain acceptance. The reason we did this is obviously we wanted to keep our kids safe, we wanted to follow the rules of only two cohorts and be able to have the kids earn their credits. 
So now how do you go about to get this application into us? Well, we have a fillable application online on our website, so please feel free to go there. You would fill out that application with all the necessary things you have to add to it, like previous report cards or IEPs, picture of your child, etc. It would come to me, I would go through the application, read it through, and then I would contact you to set up a Zoom call. At that point, we would talk about the application, your child's needs, I would answer any questions you had about the school, and we would determine together if we're a good fit for your child. The good news too is that we will probably be able to take a few more children into our school than previously because we are expanding. By uh, in November, we will have 16,000 extra feet, square feet in our building where we are building a new theater, a new fitness facility, a new lab, a media lab in order to promote our music engineering program. Even though the kids are in school and classes are going great, we are going to miss a few things that would be coming up in the spring and we don't know quite if we will be able to carry them out or not depending on what the Ministry of Education says and of course what the Ministry of Health says. But we have things like our prom. So we're not sure that we'll be able to hold that. We have our arts night. We're not sure we'll be able to hold that where we have over 300 pieces of art that we put out to the parents to see. We usually have our spirit and sports assembly where kids get most improved player, most valuable player, where we show off our banners and our successes. And of course we have our commencement where the kids get their diplomas. And we also have Sassafras where we invite the grade 12 parents and the grade 12 graduates and have dinner and drinks and dancing. So these things are still up in the air. And we also want to do the ones that we had planned for last year. So we have to double up on them. So we're really hoping that this year, if all goes well, we can have lots of parties towards the end of the year.